Me and Grace both have our birthdays in March, one day apart. In 2019, we had a table tennis tournament in the basement of a local cafe. In 2020, we had planned to do the same. Looking back on it now, that feels insane. Yet I already can't wait to be back in that sweaty room once again. Turns out a lot can happen in a year. Those most affected wasn't always those you expected. Not an ideal climate to be a Jehovah's Witness. Great time to be Joe Wicks. Choosing a career in live performance poetry feels like something of a risk, but that was true long before we'd heard of COVID. I color coordinated my bookshelves into rainbows on week one. Sorted by category of fiction, non-fiction, poetry, and big. Didn't realize I was investing in nine months of future Zoom backgrounds. Just at the time, it felt like something I could control in a world I felt like I couldn't. Straight off the bat, smashed some lockdown cliches out the park. Started making breads. Started a podcast. Wrote a poem about my bread. Performed it on my podcast. Bought myself a new toilet seat. Bought myself a guitar. One I have used every day. The other is a guitar. We felt the power dynamic shift with delivery drivers. It went from, sorry we missed you, to, sorry you're stuck at home, there's no way we could possibly miss you, to, sorry there's no time to knock, I'll just leave it in the street, to, sorry you felt like you needed to buy a keto. Our neighbours two doors down, one week bought Domino's tea for Tuesday. WhatsApped us to ask if we wanted any leftover margarita. The next week, we returned the favour. It became two pizzas, two households apart for the price of one. The following week, they didn't fancy pizza, but we had committed to the tradition. So it became two pizzas, zero households apart, and it still felt like a result. We kept on finding ways of being kept apart together to stop us from falling apart altogether. Our recycling started getting collected for the first time. I don't know if that was pandemic related, but it was genuinely thrilling. I found myself holding my breath when walking past other people in the street. Found myself holding my breath when refreshing vaccine news feeds on repeat. Found myself flinching when I saw people holding hands on TV. I went to a socially distanced wedding in an outfit with a coordinated face mask. I'm not sure I would have understood that sentence a year ago. I am sure that I looked incredible. And that no amount of masks could hide how much everyone smiled and that not a single eye was dry as Chez came down the aisle. There were days when I couldn't answer the simple question, how are you? There were days when it felt like my whole world was accidentally stuck on mute. When you'd feel bad if you weren't feeling bad, then you'd feel bad if you were. You would constantly remind yourself that others had it worse, and yet you're still allowed to be upset. You still can't see your friends. You still can't do the thing you love. You're still not sure when this might end. I was asked to write something looking back on lockdown. Since I started writing it, we have all gone back into lockdown. I think I'm doing better this time around. This is not yet some weird memory we can all look back on fondly, but we are getting there. I'm not sure if I'll be in a sweaty basement in March, 2021 we will find a way to celebrate together before long. Turns out a lot can happen in a year.